Good afternoon. This is Jeff with Sewer Tech Northwest. Today we're at property address 1950 Taylor Court here in West Lynn. We are located at the front of the house. We are to the left of the doorway. It's kind of back there through the bushes where you can't see it. Uh, but to the left of the door here, we have this kind of pop out. We have a three inch ABS clean out hiding right underneath the little maple here. And we're going to insert the camera and check the overall condition and serviceability of the sanitary sewer line. We do have water running. I just zeroed out the foot counter. A little bit of standing water here. That's going to probably drain out to about a quarter inch or less of water, which is a long ways off from needing repair work, in my opinion. And then that stuff at the top of the pipe there, that's just old clog debris. At some point, the line clogged up there. and just deposited debris at the top of the pipe. And, and when I'm looking at bellies and things of that nature, especially bellies, that's, that's one of the most important things that I look at is, especially if the house has been around for a while, is, is the top of the pipe covered in debris buildup right near a belly, which tells you the line's clogged at least once before. That, does, that, that spot there you saw the debris though, that, that was a clog that lasted for about three to four feet of pipe filling up and then it broke loose on its own. And what, that's, it's a common occurrence in a lot of bellies. The standing water will almost always slow stuff down, but in plastic pipe like this, it's very smooth on the inside. You you have clogs in your lines more frequently than you'd think that break loose all on their own without you even knowing it. And that's kind of what happened there. But anyway, we'll, we'll go back and take a look at that area. The line switches over to four inch PVC pipe here. And then there's the main right there at 55 feet. Now we're going to let the whole line drain out here for a few minutes while we go locate the terminus. Overall, though, the line is looking good and it's extremely clean. Aside from a little bit of debris at the top of the pipe, that stuff stays there forever because the water doesn't flow through that part of the line. But the flow line is, is spotless clean. All right, located the camera head, and we're going to do another locate just to double check that one. But the uh, the line does not appear to actually go into the roadway here. So it, it comes straight out from the house. And I'm describing this as if you're looking at the front of the home from the street. But it comes out just to the left of the front door, turns, it crosses under the whole driveway, and then it looks like it terminates at the left side property line. To the left of the driveway, you'll see a whole bunch of little green utility boxes. They look like sprinkler valve covers or something like that. Um, right in there is where the line terminates and in directly in line with that spot there is a manhole out in the street which is generally how that's going to be set up when the line does not go into the roadway there it looks like there's a main lateral running up and down the left side of the property now we're going to pull back here just a little bit to make sure I, I see that locate signal move and then we can confirm that's where it goes All right, the line definitely terminates at the left side of the property line. About if, if you're standing in the road looking at the garage, about halfway up the driveway as you go up towards the house and to the left of the driveway, that's that's where the line terminates. It would have been nice how they just punched the line out of the left side of the house. You would have had about a 10-foot long sewer line that did not go under the whole driveway, but there's often a reason why they had to do that. All right, the PVC pipe here looks good, drains beautifully, super clean. Now, aside from that little bit of debris closer back into the house, it's, it's at the top of the pipe. This is about as clean as a sewer line gets here. It looks fantastic. Again, a little bit of old debris there kind of peeling off the sidewall of the pipe. And all that, again, just old, an old clog that occurred. 
and all that stuff here is actually, it looks like it's past the belly, so it wouldn't have been the belly that even caused that clog. I mean, there's a little bit back into here, but it's, I mean, extreme, this is a teeny tiny belly. You've, you've got less than a sixteenth of an inch of standing water there. It starts here at around three feet. It's about somewhere between a thirty-second and a sixteenth. And then you pop out of the belly here as you kind of round the turn, it looks like. Yeah, there's still a little, it's, it's the, the amount of water in the flow line is so minor, it's hard to tell where it even starts and stops. I'm going to call here at around 9 feet, from about 3 feet to 9 feet, you've got a 16th of an inch of water or less. But when it, when it comes to bellies, that, that's like a 0 out of 1 on the severity scale. It might as well not even be there. The only stuff you're going to get hanging up in that amount of water consistently is if you're putting tons of stuff down the sewer line that should not be going down there or balling your toilet paper up the size of a football before you flush it. So, no repairs are needed there in my opinion. Now, we've got good flow all the way out to the main lateral connection. Both the ABS and PVC portions of the sewer line we've scoped here today both appear to be in great condition. The sewer line is functioning properly at this time. So once again, we're kind of looking over, there's the car in the driveway, the line comes out, shoots underneath the entire driveway, and then right up against the left side property line is where the line terminates.